Zake was impeached by parliament on March 10, 2022. The MP who subscribes to the Opposition National Unit Platform Party filed a constitutional petition challenging the manner in which he was voted out of the office of the Commission of Parliament. He said the move cost him all the privileges, entitlements and responsibilities. Through his lawyer, Elias Lukwago, Zake says that Parliament suspended its own rules of procedure in adopting the motion to censure him. The Mapenduzi petition was smuggled in during the debate. Yet the rules of procedure provide that the petition should be signed by at least a third of the members, taken to the clerk to Parliament and the, the, before the sergeant at arms, members append their signatures and so on and so forth before it is tabled on the floor. But However, the Attorney General, who is the chief legal advisor to government, said Parliament followed rules of procedure had the necessary quorum both at committee hearings on the floor of parliament. We submit that a cursory glance of the report of the Standing Committee on Rules and Privileges discipline reveals that the report was signed by 12. He says there was nothing unconstitutional to impeach Zake and telling him to apologize to the House. However, Zake says there was no quorum of more than 240 members to impeach him and he seeks a declaration by court that the parliamentary proceedings of that day were null and void. Rule 110 of the parliament, parliamentary rules of procedure that for a commissioner to be impeached, there must be votes of at least a half of the members with the voting rights in the parliament casting votes in favor of that particular motion. We have put to the people and to them as the judiciary to decide what is right because Ugandans know the truth and we all know the truth and we are sure as parliament they know the truth, they know what they are supposed to be doing and if they know that they did something wrong, they will yield in whatever they did. He also calls on the court to sanction all MPs who sit on the Rules and Privileges Committee for allegedly pocketing 600 million bribe each instead of their permitted 800 for the two days they deliberated. Zakes trouble stemmed from a social media post in which he allegedly disrespected the then Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, prompting the Gulu West MP Francis Mapenduzi to have the contentious social media post investigated by the Rules and Privileges Committee. Flavian Incuse, CTV, PM Edition.